The social experiment has evolved, and tonight it comes to its dramatic conclusion. Now, for the past few months, you've watched and rooted for your favorite beauties and geeks. You've chosen your favorites, followed their progress, and you have made your voices heard. Who will win tonight's Beauty and the Geek? Well, the results are in. Together, we're going to find out which team will be leaving this building with a quarter of a million dollars and become more than just a beauty and a geek. Welcome to the Beauty and the Geek finale. This season, 18 people entered the mansion. My main goal in life is to have fun and help animals. I'm 25 and I still live at home with my parents. And the bell curve, I'm easily three standard deviations above the mean. <laughs> My life goal is to be a Playboy centerfold. I can't. I, I'm sorry. And one shocking twist changed the game forever. One beauty will be a man, and one geek will be a woman. Along the way, the teams faced the highest of highs. Yes! yes! Prom king, John. Yes! It feels good to be the king, yeah. And the lowest of lows. I'm really fit to open up. I'm getting myself hurt. These people in here are real. The tears are real. The friendships are real. Nobody here with me. <laughs> Nobody wants to help. The laughter has been stronger. At work. <laughs> okay. Laser beam shot. <laughs> Bam. Bullet. That's arithmetic. It's math. Aww. I don't know anything about rockets. I don't know anything about really astrology. And the triumphs have been more spectacular. If you just believe. Luke just busted through the curtains and was like, yeah, what's up now? I mean, he knew he was hot. It's amazing what happens here. It feels like you belong. Geeks are people too. We're really great guys, and if you give a geek a chance, I mean, he can really surprise you. Being into geeky things is definitely okay. I'm so like proud of myself that I was actually able to pick any of them up. Like I'm, I'm shocked at myself. When the principal announced that I won the challenge, I was just like, what? For me to like teach other people something that I dislike, and they actually like get it, I was proud of myself on that one. Eventually, eight teams left the mansion. Now, only two teams remain. Which team did America select as the winner? Find out next on the season finale of Beauty and the Geek. Good evening, America. I'm Mike Richards, and welcome to the Beauty and the Geek season finale. Tonight, this season's beauties and geeks will come together one final time to find out who America has crowned as this season's winners. But we're also, you know, here to dish the dirt on what happened on and off camera. And we're going to answer all the questions that fans across America have asked. We'll revisit the most beautiful and controversial couple in Beauty and the Geek history, Sam and Rebecca. <laughs> but most importantly... We're going to answer the biggest question of the season. Who have you, America, voted to be more than just a beauty and a geek? Will it be Jasmine and Dave? Or our first ever male beauty and female geek, Sam and Nicole? Now, we're all going to find out this answer together, along with some people that we've all gotten to know and love. So put your hands together for the cast of this season's Beauty and the Geek, starting with Tony and Amanda. Jesse and Aaron. 
It's great to see all of you together again. Isn't it great to see them? Yeah. How does it feel to be back together now? Awesome. Fantastic. Great. 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 Is it too soon, Jen? Um, no, I actually kind of missed them. I see? Aww. Joshua, what's the one thing you missed? Oh, just being able to hang out with people who actually laugh at my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are all getting along fabulously now. But it wasn't always that way. In fact, there was one person who tended to irritate some of the people in the house. Take a look. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am your professor. So if you want to know who's going to win this game, it's me, myself, and I. They're one of the same. The winner is Will. Will. The geek with the best basket is Will. Good job. It's definitely exciting that I have been winning because of what it says about me. Strength, confidence, self-assuredness. He's definitely having a power trip right now. <laughs> Are you doing what I think you're doing? Tisk, tisk, tisk to both of you. Do you want to say something? Don? I think he's just basking in all his glory of I can send you all to eliminations. Right now he's walking around like the king, but uh, the peasants are really, really about to revolt. It's kind of like, you know, when, when the king's by, everyone smiles and waves, but, you know, as he walks by, they give him the finger or something. <laughs> love you, Will. We love you. All love right, you. Will. Did you know that people were thinking of you in that way? I had no idea. <laughs> I, saw, I saw it on television. I was just so embarrassed. Oh, God, no, no, no. <laughs> Now, has this changed the way you act now when you're not on oh, television? Oh, yeah. First of all, guys, I am so sorry. Really, I mean, oh, my God. And, yeah, I've always been concerned with, you know, how I present myself internally, how I see myself. Now I'm trying to be much more careful about how other people see me, because... I... <laughs> well, I think that apology is accepted, right, guys? Right. Oh, thank God. Well, as you can tell, Beauty and the Geek is a social experiment all about transformation, and everyone here made great progress. Now, of course, there are two teams that are still missing from this stage, Jasmine and Dave and Sam and Nicole. Now, you've been waiting and voting for your favorite Beauty and the Geek teams, and the results are in. Tonight, one team will be going home with a quarter of a million dollars and the honor... And it gets better. And the honor of being the first Beauty and the Geek winner ever decided by America. The question is, will it be Jasmine and Dave or Sam and Nicole? We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Beauty and the Geek finale. Now, Dave and Jasmine made an epic transformation. Let's take a closer look at one of our final teams. Our first finalists, Dave and Jasmine, are quintessential beauty and geek. Greetings and salutations, fair maidens. My name is Jasmine, and I'm here to stay. Within the first day at the mansion, Dave decided he makes a bad team with Jasmine. I personally have a very strong preference for Katie. I would be disappointed if Jasmine were my teammate. Jay and Joshua, however, had a different opinion. We decided to pair Jasmine with David. When I found out that Jasmine became my partner, I was suddenly worried. During their first night together as teammates, Dave let Jasmine know just how he felt. You like me as a partner. You were actually last on my internal list. You're sleeping on the floor tonight. Through the next five challenges, both Dave and Jasmine failed to come together as a team. It's like talking to a wall sometimes. Uh, what are the names of all seven companies? Ask me something I know. I don't know how to explain something I take so easily for granted. Forcing Joshua to reveal a shocking confession. We were seriously considering sending David and Jasmine 
due to what we felt was inappropriate growth so far. That revelation proved to be the kick in the pants that Dave and Jasmine needed to make a change. The building phase is about to begin. Both struggled with their next challenge. I tried to follow the directions. Hi, I'm Princess Bedhead. But ultimately, their hard work paid off propelling them to a second place finish. Jasmine, you were great. That's awesome. Me and Dave came together on this challenge. With a newfound sense of confidence in their team, Dave and Jasmine worked hard to win the next two geek challenges. The winner is Dave. <laughs> I gotta go with Dave. Oh, thank you. Feels damn good. <laughs> And in an ultimate display of just how far they had come, one, one. they won the final team challenge, yes! assuring them a spot in the final two. It's been an amazing transformation, but have they done enough to prove that they are more than just a beauty and a geek? Now, you guys haven't seen each other. That was quite a reaction. I know. I missed them a lot. You do? It, it's been four months. Yeah. It's been a while. You guys obviously had a rough start, as we just saw. What did you think that first night when he didn't want you as his partner? Oh, I was really sad because even if I get along with, like, none of the girls, at least I'll have my geek. And then I get there, and I'm like, great, my geek hates me. Now I'm all alone. But I was like, if we can get through this, you know, it'll just make us really strong demon. And it did. And it did. I mean, look at where we are. Yeah. So now you witnessed her transformation up close and personal. You saw it uh, clearer than anyone. What, what kind of changes have you seen in Jasmine? Well, when I first met Jasmine, uh, I think she suffered from a condition I shall call learned helplessness. <laughs> uh, I'm good at that. Yeah. Uh, where she was completely dependent upon other people, uh, for instance, making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, but... Is that true? Well, if you don't have to make it yourself, like, why would you? As time went on, I, I started noticing that Jasmine had much more of a self-sufficiency. Oh, thanks, Dave. So, what was it about Dave's transformation that you noticed? I noticed his confidence and for him to be so social with everyone and so funny. And, like, people didn't see that at first. And I think he's just so much more um, approachable now. Yeah. Now, uh, Shay and Joshua, you called them out. Do you regret that, or did that work out? Of course, don't regret it. I mean, this is the effect we were hoping for. The show is about growth, and it just took a bit more effort from Dave to say, look, I'm in a new environment. Let's do the best I can in it. Let's see what I can get out of it. The two of them embraced this, and it's just wonderful. Obviously, you guys had a very rough start. One of the roughest challenges for you was the creatures at the Bronson Cave. That wasn't it? Oh, I hated that. Yeah, you, you'll see how much you hate it. Take a look at this. Okay. Oh my god, I see a spider. If I could go back, I would try to get over it more in my head and stop like thinking I was scared and try to just be more brave. <laughs> Well, actually, we have a special guest star for you, straight from the Bronson <laughs> Cage up. Caves Shut up. in glamorous Hollywood. Here is Pinky. What? Okay. Yeah. Come on, how, how cute is that little guy? Now, you said the one thing you regretted is that you ran out of time and didn't get to pick up this cute, furry little guy. It's not cute. No, he's not really cute. So, you want to try it? Dave, you want to help her? Yeah, I've... I don't need to Can I scoop back the chair? No, you got to help him back. No, I want you to get up on the chair. <laughs> I want to get up on the chair. <laughs> All right, take it. You help, help her out. <laughs> take a deep breath. You'll be all right. Are you ready? No. Oh, my God, David. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing either. David! So... Oh, my God. All right, you, you're going <laughs> to overcome one more. Oh you're going to be fine. <laughs> Just overcome one last fear oh here. 
Yeah, look at that. <laughs> no, just give him a little pet. Just give him a little pet. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Wait, quick, pet him real oh, quick. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a little, give him a, just a little pet. He's just a cute little guy. He won't bite you. Just, and then David, we'll put him back in. Don't move, don't move. Okay. Don't move. You're what? fine. Go ahead. Just give him a little touch. Just, just. Come on. We'll, we'll do it together. Okay. <laughs> By the way, how calm is Dave right now? <laughs> What's it going to yeah. do when I touch his Nothing. leg? It's going to. Oh, did you see that? It was wants to hug you. Go ahead. Just give oh it a touch God, and we can oh move on. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, my God. I can't. So close. I got it. Okay, I got it. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> what? Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. He's oh my going God. away from me. Oh yeah. Get in there. You can do it. Oh, okay, okay. I just... Oh. Oh, okay, she got it. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back to catch up with our other finalists, Sam and Nicole, and we'll find out what everyone on this stage and everyone who voted around America are dying to know who America has handpicked as the winners of this season's Beauty and the Geek. into the mansion. It was abundantly clear that this team was very different from any other team in the history of Beauty and the Geek. This season, we decided to redefine what it means to be a beauty and a geek by introducing two new variables, Sam and Nicole. Even though their genders were switched, they were still a beauty. Getting ready normally takes me, to be completely honest, it takes hours. Washing my face, spraying on the cologne and the, and the body lotion and all that. And a geek. First thoughts in my head was, the entire time I'm here, I'm always going to be the ugliest girl in the room. Reactions to the twist were emotional. As soon as I saw the guy, I thought, I hope none of the geeks are hoping to hook up with the beauty, because their chances just plummeted. During a revealing game of Truth or Dare, oh, oh, yeah. sparks flew between Sam and Rebecca. Okay, straight off the bat, Rebecca is so, oh man, that girl's so hot. As their relationship grew closer, Sam unknowingly pushed his teammate Nicole away. I think tonight's an example of my worst fears coming true. I woke up and oh, I could tell they were up there. As their relationship grew closer. I just, I just have a feeling that we're going. Nicole knew the only way she and Sam would succeed as a team would be to get rid of Rebecca. I really did wish that Will and Rebecca would lose the elimination. Will and Rebecca, I'm sorry. I do have to ask you to leave the mansion. With Rebecca out of the house, Sam the party boy had nowhere else to turn but the books. Rebecca going home definitely kicked my competitive side into high gear. And together with his partner, Nicole, became the most dominant team in Beauty and the Geek history. Winning five of eight challenges. Sam, you are the winner. And there goes Sam. Congratulations, you won the challenge. And surviving the elimination room twice, earning themselves a spot in the final two. Our biggest twist has now made it into the finale. But did they transform enough to win America's vote and become more than just a beauty and a geek? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Nicole. It's great to see you. Nicole, you look just beautiful. Thank you. Now, Nicole, what was the most surprising thing that you learned from Sam? I stress a lot. I worry a lot. And maybe that's why I'm so academically successful. But Sam taught me that you can succeed and excel in life taking things a little easier. So I've been trying to incorporate that in my daily life since walking into him. It's hard not to with this guy around. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you became a studying machine. Uh, have you carried that on? With Nicole's help, I mean, she helped me out a lot with understanding, you know, what works for me studying. And so I think that I could probably 
take that back to college and uh, see where things go. Which is something you had never even considered before this. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. And all the help. Go to college for a party, yeah. But, um... <laughs> well, now it's time to get to the burning question. It's the elephant in the room, and that is, Sam, this is the first time you're seeing Rebecca since she and Will left the house. <laughs> what are you thinking right now? What's um, the future for you guys? Well, it's definitely hard to stay on this couch. Um, as much as I love talking with you, Mike. I know, I understand. You know, um, I definitely uh, missed Rebecca the second she walked out the door, and I've missed her ever since. So, uh, Rebecca, what do you think now that you're seeing Sam? Oh, my God, it's not real. Would you like to come down and say hello? Would that, I mean... It is only an hour show, so I'm going to have to ask you to come back over here. Rebecca, head back up there. Yeah, I'm busy. This guy's beaming. She's on fire right now. Wow. Okay, Rebecca, any animosity towards Nicole because she kind of engineered your removal? You know, I don't blame her. I didn't know that she was that upset. I'm so sorry. So that's kind of, that's good news. Were you worried that she might be upset with you? I was. I, I just wanted you to know it wasn't anything personal, and I, I want you both to have all the happiness in the world. I completely world. understand. Does anyone in the cast want to add anything? Yeah. Uh, Nicole, as sorry as I am to have been on the vicious end of it, that was magnificent. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You played Sam, Rebecca, you played me, you played like a virtuoso. You have to respect the skills. <laughs> now, our viewers also had some questions for you guys, which were sent to us at CWTV.com. This first one is for Sam, and I need you to know that I'm reading this verbatim. This is not my question. <laughs> All right. Your muscles are huge. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you train? Well, first off, thanks for that, whoever uh, wrote that question. M. Richard. That, no, <laughs> M. Richard. You know, it's not as crazy as it was when I first got into the house, but uh, I try to stay in shape, as, you know, to the best of my abilities. All right, also from your fans, Rebecca, what did you think when you heard Sam say he liked Amanda first, but that she left too soon? Well, I kind of knew already, so I kind of saw. But I didn't know. I'm yeah. Amanda, jump in, please. I just wanted to add that I didn't know. Go ahead. Sorry. I didn't know. I sensed it, though. You sensed it, and then, so were you relieved when she left? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, your team did put them up for, uh, you did nominate them for elimination. But not for that reason. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Well, when we come back, we'll get to the moment that you've all been waiting for when we find out who America has voted to be more than just a beauty and a geek. Welcome back. Now, our next couple won this season's first challenge by coming in last place. But soon, they became fan favorites. They were the odd couple of the house. And at times... They seem less like a team and more like an old married couple. I'm talking about fan favorites, Shay and Joshua. Oh, this season featured a team like no other, Shay and Joshua. Hi, everybody. It almost seems like he's like not even real. Mm. Mm. You okay? Snap your head to the other side really fast. <laughs> Okay, Josh, come show me some of your moves. Yeah, hold on. Hold up. I, I, I think she's acting like some sort of mother figure, but everyone else says we act like a, like an old married couple. This is Jamie the Geek. It's the honeys I see. We've seen them struggle. A strawberry pie? <gasps> what the hell? We've seen them work together. Flash the water in your face. Josh, you're not touching your face, sweetie. We've seen them try on who? won this challenge. That would be Shay. Wow. I was very proud of her. I'm always proud of her. She, 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 she's, she's done great in everything. They didn't finish in the final two, but there's no question they wouldn't have transformed as much as they did without each other. <laughs> he's just like, I don't know, he's just like so sweet. Shalandra. <laughs> Josh, you're supposed to call me Shalandra. Shay, remember? <laughs> Well, 
You guys were so fun to watch. But this partnership of yours, originally, Shay, you were for it, but Joshua, you had some serious doubts. Why? Well, from the first challenge, we knew that we weren't the best at either. Like, I mean, my social skills apparently weren't very good, and her academic skills apparently weren't very good. As the bottom, as the underdogs, we could learn the most from each other. Right. And that we might be seen as not much of a threat, and that would counterbalance this issue of not of being of having problems with challenges. Right, that was my plan. <laughs> you bought into Shay's plan because you realized don't fight Shay's plan. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah pretty much. Like One that. of the things you learned. Now, Shay, what did you learn from Joshua? Um, definitely, I would have to say patience, patience, <laughs> patience, <laughs> patience. <laughs> Uh, it's obvious that you guys have a lot of respect for each other, but you also you also bickered a lot. Would you compare yourself more to an old married couple or uh, is Shay the bossy mom? Uh, yeah. um, I would probably say the old married couple. Joshua would probably say the bossy mom. <laughs> and might he say that because you didn't let him answer? Is that, <laughs> is that possible? I don't know. Well, I mean, somebody had to whip this kid into shape. I mean, who else was a better job for? I mean, so yeah. Okay, <laughs> Joshua, we'll let, we'll let you answer for yourself. Well, Shay was right. I do think of her as the bossy mom. <laughs> um, but I think, I mean, that's mainly because she actually cares how I turn out, mm -hmm. I think. Most definitely. But, and that's really nice. I mean, yeah. it's, not just, it's not just pointless bickering. Right. She knows what she thinks works, and she really cares that I understand that. Now, Shay, you weren't the only one that weighed in on Joshua's behalf. Take a look at this. Well, hold on. Tell my mother how the interview is going. Uh, my relationship with my mother is very good. She's among the people who encouraged me to try out for this. Well, I'm his mom. My name's Marla. <laughs> you know, some kids call him Einstein. Absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Now, it's obvious that you guys have, uh, you and your mom have a very special bond. What was her reaction seeing you on the show? You know what? Forget. You know what? We have a surprise for you. I'm going to ask her myself. Oh, Marla. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my The TV mom meets the real mom. Have a seat, everybody. Uh, so, look at this is a, this is a cozy family right here. So Marla, did you see a difference in Joshua when he came home from Beauty and the Geek? Yes, I did. A uh, couple of things I noticed first were his glasses and the way he had his hair going. Did you like it? <laughs> uh oh. Well, you know, he did. So. More power to him. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have anything that you want to say to Shay? Well, I think you were great. Uh, oh, thank you, you so I much. mean, to be so patient with him takes a lot. <laughs> and you would know. It takes a lot of patience. I raised doesn't him. It? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I raised him. How do you, Joshua, how are you feeling right now? Do you you kind of got both your moms here on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotten very quiet. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to interrupt either of them. <laughs> Well, Marla, thank you so much for joining, uh, joining us tonight. I'm going to have you uh, join your other two sons who are in the audience as well. We asked the fans, which beauty do you have a crush on? Don't hate him because you ain't him. It was Sam. <laughs> I... Your winning streak continues. Good, good. All right. Uh, we asked... Who was this season's geekiest geek? <laughs> and a winner by a landslide of epic proportions, Joshua. Was <laughs> <just a show. laughs> the rubber band man, Josh, came in second place. Oh! With 13 wow. <laughs> Good job. 
Now, Josh, you actually didn't get to take part in the makeover, but it looks like you have kind of done one of your own. Stand up, stand up. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, there, there's no way to get to this delicately, so I'm just going to go for it. You were one of the hairiest contestants <laughs> in the history of Beauty of the Geek. Thank you. What's, what, you're welcome. Uh, what's going on with the hair? I actually got rid of all the hair on my stomach, chest, shoulders, neck, and back. Uh, <laughs> gone. Yay! Well, come on down here. You guys want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Come on. All right. Let's see it. All right. Sam, how do I do this? <laughs> Did, did you do this just because of the show? Well, the show definitely inspired me, but there's one other reason. Rebecca had promised me that when I got all the hair removed from my back, she would give me, her exact words were, a full back massage with massage oils and everything. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. I have great news for you. Yeah? We just happen to have a massage table. <laughs> Rebecca, is the deal a deal? Rebecca, you have well, to Well, I can't break a deal. Nope, come on down, lay down, there you go. Goodness. Rebecca, All come right. on down. Oh my God. Oh, God. There you go. Okay. Well, I'll just put this right here, why don't you come, come right here. All right, there you go. Now, while Rebecca makes Josh's dreams come true after the break, we'll find out who America has decided to make their dreams come true to the tune of a quarter of a million dollars. When we return, we'll take one final look back before we all find out together which one of our finalist teams is more than just a beauty and a geek. Nice massaging. Very nice. Winner, but first, you know, Beauty and the Geek has always been about heart and transformation. And this year, there were more classic moments than any other season. So, with that in mind, we present to you this season's highlights. Hi. Hi. I'm Jesse. I'm a software engineer. So, when you say software engineer, does that mean like computers? Yeah. Okay. Well, you never know when duct tape might be handy. What they say, duct tape is like the force. It has, it has a light, light side and a dark, dark side. It binds the galaxy together. Yep. So I'm going to go get some food. <laughs> yeah. I, I... So I think Tony's going to be like a diamond in the rust. 1776 is when we gained our independence, so... Oh my gosh, you know that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> get a watch, maybe not with a calculator on it. But it's useful. You're not going to do arithmetic when you're walking down the street trying to get girls? No. Uh, my name is Katie, and I have some really cool talents. Like, I'm really good at finding Where's Waldo and Waldo's books <laughs> and making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. One of the main stereotypes I had about beauties was that they were kind of snobby and wouldn't really, like, give a geek the time of day. And really, that's not true at all. They're really nice and friendly and more than happy to talk to you if you just give them a chance and actually have the courage to go up and approach them. I learned that geeks are the nicest, sweetest, most caring guys in the world. Don't overlook them. If you don't take the chance to get to know those people, you're really missing out. It's good to be a geek. It's good to play the freak. It's good to come my mom and watch every other week. As far as I can see, it's good to play the week. Let's stay on packaging miniatures. Tell us two or three. Cause now I never. You know I'm gonna end up to look like Boba Fett. I got my helmet set, although it makes me sweat. Man, it's good. 
was quite a season, and I'm sure it was a, a life-changing experience for all of you. Luke, how have you been keeping up with the transformation? How's it going? Well, uh, first off, I get my hair done at a salon now, and um, I've actually been uh, going out and I tried out tanning for a while to see if I could get some more color, and all my clothes now fit. No more jean shorts. Um, she was very adamant about that. Nice. Now, are right, any of you beauties planning to go back to school now with your newfound ability to study? I am. Holly. I am. Yep. Um, Josh helps me. He said I, I'm pretty smart, so <laughs> I'm going to go back to school and study uh, anthropology. Wow. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Jen? I have decided to take my realtor's course. Now, would you have done that if you hadn't learned this, you know, these skills that you have now? Probably not, because I've always had confidence in my physical capabilities, um, but not in my intellectual capabilities. And I feel like after studying so much and going through all the challenges that I can pretty much study anything and learn anything and just do fine with it. So. Cool. Josh, has, has your dating life changed? Uh, significantly. Prior to the show, I had never even been on a date, ever. And since the show, I even have a girlfriend now who's in the audience. She's here, right? Where is she? <laughs> All right. Luke, what about you? How's your dating life? Um, yeah, uh, before the show, I, um, I think averaged two or three dates about a, a year, and um, I think now on average it's about two or three a week. He's so. a player. What? <laughs> it's a significant improvement. <laughs> I would say. Amanda, what about you? How has this social experiment changed your life? You really do make friends. We are friends here. It's, it's a real experience, and it's not just a game. Yeah. Now, do you guys have any advice for future beauties and geeks? Uh, Definitely shouldn't judge books by their covers. If you want to go along with them and delve deeper into it, you know, you might find some interesting stuff in there, something that uh, you might have missed out early on. See, Jenny learned. I know. I'm so, I'm so proud. I really am. I'm so happy that, you know, we're, we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah. All right. Hopefully the next group of men and women who come to Beauty and the Geek will heed that advice and hopefully they'll get as much out of all of this as all of you did. Congratulations. All right. The time has now come to close the final chapter on this season of Beauty and the Geek and find out which team you, America, has chosen as this season's winner. Sam and Nicole, Dave and Jasmine, please join me on the stage. These two teams that stand before me have gone through amazing transformations, both physical and mental. You've, you've won challenges, and you have avoided elimination until now. In my hand, I have two envelopes. Oh my God. One of them has a check for $250,000. The other one is empty. <laughs> Two of your lives are about to change forever. You ready to find out who America thinks is more than just a beauty and a geek? Let's do it. All right. Sam and Nicole. <laughs> Dave and Jasmine. Hold on to those. Don't open those yet. All right. Audience, are you ready? Beauties and geeks, are you guys ready? All right. It's the big moment. On the count of three, open the envelopes. One. Two. We're going to do it right after the break. <laughs> Sam, you are each holding an envelope. 
And in one of those envelopes is America's decision as to who has become more than just a beauty and a geek. I know that you guys have waited a very long time for this moment. And it's now time to find out who won this season of Beauty and the Geek. It all comes down to this. And one of those envelopes is $250,000 and the other one is empty. Are you ready? Open your envelopes now. If you just It feels damn good. It's real. It's really real. I just can't believe it. Well, that wraps it up for this season of Beauty and the Geek. But next season is just around the corner, and you could be one of the people standing on this stage. So, if you're up to taking part in next year's social experiment and think you've got what it takes to become more than just a beauty or a geek, submit your casting video now. Go to CWTV.com, and all the details are there for you. And tune in this spring when the social experiment continues. Good night. Catch the premiere of Crowned Wednesday, December 12th.